Hey friends, I'm back at you with a quick and easy DIY project to add some character to your home. And for this project, I'm partnering up with the original Super Glue. I'm gonna be showcasing their Total Tech and their new mounting tape. You have heard me rave about the Total Tech. This all-in-one Ahisa Plus sealant is an amazing product and it works so well with indoor and outdoor applications. This is such a super cool project because you can really cater it to fit the look and design of your home. In our case, I wanted the main part of the plaque white and I wanted the frame uh, black to match the trim of our house. We wanted modern looking numbers and I love that these numbers are raised so it gives it a really cool 3D look. And this kit of numbers was really cool because it gave you a template of how to drill out the hose. And as you'll notice, the plaque actually gets thicker. I didn't read the instructions uh, clearly enough and I had to add an extra piece of three quarter ply to get the correct thickness. That way I can actually set the numbers. It always pays to read, my friends. So the instructions on the number said start out with an eighth inch drill bit to do your pilot holes, then come back with a 3 16 bit. Both bits you need to cut a max depth of one inch, that way the studs on the numbers will set correctly. And as you see in there, the plaque has doubled in thickness. Um, after I drilled the pilot hose is when I realized that I did not read the instructions good enough and that there was no way I was gonna be able to drill a one inch deep hole and three quarter inch plywood. After getting all the hose drilled, this is when the total tech comes back into play. I would uh, carefully pour total tech into each hole and then we would lightly tap down each number. And then after I had the number installed, I would use some painter's tape uh, to make sure everything stays put to allow it to dry. Now one thing I did off camera before I started applying Total Tech to each hole was dry fit each number to make sure everything was lining up. So I would definitely recommend you do this. I really love these smaller size tubes of the Total Tech over the larger ones that are for your caulking guns. So I think they're way, way better for these type projects. You can really control the flow and you can cut the tip really small to be able to really be accurate with how you're spreading it. So this is a really, really nice product for this application. So after a short recess caused by some mother nature, we're back out here to get the zero added onto our number plaque. So there you have it, we have an unframed number plaque. I love how those uh, raised numbers in the black really pops in that white. It's really gonna go good with how our house is trimmed. So now let's get the border around it. So this frame was super easy. Um, I stained a black finish on it, uh, allowed it to dry for a day before messing with it. And then just using the Total Tech adhesive, make sure I put a really good bead on there, followed it up with a couple 18 gauge brad nails just to hold everything into place. And now we have a finished number plaque. So then I decided to let everything dry for a full 24 hours. So I put the number plaque back in the shop and just forgot about it for a day. 
And now let's move on to installation and installing the mounting tape. So let's go over the how to use this amazing tape. Number one, you want a clean surface that you're gonna be sticking the tape to. Uh, use rubbing alcohol and let it dry so we already prepped the back of this board prior to installing the tape. When you apply the tape, make sure you do not touch the adhesive part with your fingers. Uh, the next step is press the tape firmly, which you're watching me do here, and remove the protective film. So before we talk about installing the plaque onto our uh, exterior wall, let's go over some of the features of the mounting tape. So the small strips you see on the back of this plaque, this is their easy pre-cut uh, strips. You get 10 strips in each package. They say it can hold up to 14 pounds per strip. Now remember, this is for indoor and outdoor applications. So that's really, really cool. So this can work for so many different kind of craft projects, DIY, really, really cool. Uh, the next is the row. Um, they say the entire row can hold up to 300 pounds. I really, really love the row because for plaques or for projects this size, you can cut the amount of tape you need. Now in this case, I decided to showcase both, but for this type project, I probably would've went with the row tape, but for smaller projects, I love the pre-cut pieces. So, so some key things as they talk about for large objects hanging vertically is essential to apply several tape strips along the surface. I'd rather overdo it than underdo it with this number plaque. So that's the reason why that we did as many as we did on the back of it. Uh, this tape is meshed in four. Some of the things they talk about using it for is auto trim, mirrors, hangers, bathroom accessories, kitchen utensils, uh, moldings, uh, electrical boxes, alarm systems hanging plaques, so it's got a wide range of uses. So now let's move to hanging. Uh, to bond, make sure you get it in the desired position and press strongly. Uh, remember the object cannot be corrected after mounting, so I just made sure to really work the tape into the brick all around the plaque to make sure we had an awesome, awesome seal. After I had the plaque mounted, I went back with some Total Tech. Of course, it's a sealant and I ran a small bead on the top side. And that's it friends. I want to thank the original Super Glue for sponsoring this video. I would love to know what you think of this plaque in the comments. And if you like content like this, please consider liking, subscribing, and turn the bell on for notifications. But I hope you have a great day and stay classy.